Hello, my lovely Libras, and a very warm welcome to your December 2020 horoscope. Goodness gracious, is this one amazing month ahead. It's super exciting because Jupiter and Saturn, who've been predominantly in Earth signs since 1802, over 200 years, uh, it's been about the Industrial Revolution, consumerism, materialism, more, 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 economy, growth, productivity, hierarchical structures, them telling us what to do, of the rich getting richer. And now we come into air signs. It's a completely different frequency. Air is a much quicker frequency and it resonates much more easily with you, lovely Libras, because you're an air sign too. So this energy of air, it's going to be about information. It's going to be about sharing. And Libras, you're all about sharing. You're holding your hand out, wanting to share something with somebody. Well, this is going to be your time now as we move really into a completely new earth. It's going to be about collaboration. Please check out my separate video all about Saturn and Jupiter in Aquarius from December the 21st. How does it affect you, lovely Libra, as well? On the second of the month, we've got Mercury coming into your third house. On the 14th of the month, we've got a solar eclipse in your third house. And on the 16th of the month, your ruler Venus also joining everybody in the third house. So what's the third house about? Because a lot of activity here. Well, the third house has to do with communications, has to do with networking, has to do with connecting with other people far and wide, has to do with learning, teaching, sharing information, has to do with working with your mind, and you always have rather a fast mind, things moving, I've got to do this, going here, going there. And so this is going to be about how do you gain some mastery over your thoughts, over your thinking, an opportunity to really renew a meditation practice, to renew Tai Chi, to re renew anything that enables you to find a peace of mind, a stillness of mind. When you come from that peaceful place, there's nothing you can't accomplish, yeah? Everything was within grasp. So it's developing this mental energy because thought comes first. Matter comes much later. So if you work with your thoughts, then you can accomplish the, the wonderful relationship that you want, the secure finances, the nice home, all the things that you want. If you work with this energy, this powerful aspects here, you're setting a whole new train in motion going to a new destination of your choice. Now, on the 18th of the month, we've got Saturn coming into your fifth house, lovely Libras, and on the 20th, Jupiter, and on the 21st is the date they come together. So the focus is your fifth house. Libras, it's time to have a bit more fun. It's time to remind yourself that inside is an innate joyfulness. It's only once you get into this mad thinking that you worry about the past, you worry about the future, you worry about this and that and the other. But if you can come to live in this fifth house of very much the present moment, the joyful moment, finding the child within you, finding your creativity, expressing your creativity, if ever there's going to be a great time for starting a business, a product, a service for developing uh, something that you can take out to others that's uplifting, that's joyful. And you could create a new romance at this time, a new romance with you and a new romance with a partner, if that's what you are wanting. On the 22nd of the month, the sun comes to join Pluto in your fourth house. So the fourth house shining a light on home. There may be a new development to do with family a new family member, somebody you've not seen for a while coming into your life. It's also a good time to spruce up your environment. You might be cleaning, you might be decluttering. Just a good time to bring some light 
into wherever you're living. And on the 30th of the month, we've got a full moon happening up here for you in your 10th house, lovely Libras, shining a light on um, your career, what you want to do. For those of you who have a career, you might be changing career, changing direction. You might be reevaluating your career from a different perspective. And for those of you who don't have careers or retired or want to get out of the matrix altogether, an opportunity just to look at where can I shine? Where would I like to belong in this new global community that we're creating? What is my place? What can I contribute? It might be some words to somebody online. It might be a quote, it might be sharing something on Facebook. It doesn't have to be something grandiose. It's the simple things that you do every day that build your character, that build your life, that build your happiness and the way you feel about your life. So focus on the simple things and the bigger things will just develop organically. So lovely Libras, thank you to those of you who support me, my channel on Patreon, for joining me on the live streams, for liking, commenting, sharing, subbing. I'm so grateful to have you with me. I thank you for listening and I wish you a wonderful month. Much love. Bye for now.